Collectively, we think about cryptids and ghost stories belonging to only a few places across the country. However, every state has unexplainable phenomena, bizarre happenings, and local mythologies. They usually reflect a dark underbelly of the local townspeople's fears and desires. Sometimes these quaint old wives' tales are very endearing and harmless. Other times, they're disturbing and drenched in blood. Today on Graveyard Shift, we're looking at the 50 terrifying urban legends from each state. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Graveyard Shift to stay up to date on all your horror needs. Now, what urban legend have you heard about? Residents of Alabama are known to speak in hushed tones about a children's park in Huntsville, colloquially referred to as the Dead Children's Playground. During summer nights, the swings move themselves. Children's laughing can be heard, and the usually hot summer air is constantly cold and damp. Alaska is home of the Kushtaka, a shape-shifting creature that is a cross between a man and an otter. They make noises that mimic children in order to lure fishermen over to the side of the boats. Arizona has the Slaughterhouse Canyon. Supposedly, a father failed to return to his cabin during the 1800s gold rush. The mother was driven insane by the loss of her spouse and murdered the rest of her family in their sleep. Her mournful screams can still be heard lingering in the air. In Arkansas, there's a werewolf-like ghost that prowls through the fields. The creature is commonly referred to as the dog boy and is inspired by Gerald Bettis, a man who experimented on stray dogs and abused his elderly parents. The dark watchers from the Santa Lucia Mountains in California are faceless silhouettes with long black coats, walking sticks, and piercing white eyes. They are known to watch travelers intently. Colorado Riverdale Road is home to multiple legends, from rumors of satanic cults to mass murders to at dusk being able to see invisible bodies floating in mid-air. This road is just outside the town of Thornton, near Denver. Annabelle might have inspired a major movie franchise today, but for the majority of her life, she was an urban legend from Monroe, Connecticut, about a demonically possessed doll that came to life and haunted a nursing student. There's a lighthouse that guides ships into the coast, only issue being that there is no lighthouse off the coast of Cape Henlope in Delaware, just a phantom light that sailors claim to see. Casadaga, Florida is home of the Casadaga Spiritualist Camp. People have witnessed countless oddities and ghosts there, however one arises above the rest. The owner of the Devil's Chair, apparently, on the porch of one of the buildings in the campground, a rocking chair is left out. If anyone sits in it, an unknown force whispers horrible things to them. What is the Cursed Pillar? It's a place in Augusta, Georgia, where, after a preacher was told he couldn't deliver a sermon next to it, he declared the whole town would suffer God's wrath. He screamed, nothing will survive his might save for this pillar. And wouldn't you know it, a freak tornado decimated most of Augusta, but left the pillar standing safe and sound. In Hawaii, deadly ghosts of ancient Hawaiian soldiers march on the waters of the surrounding oceans in order to honor the gods of their culture. It's said that in the late hours of the night, you can hear them changing and using conch shells in order to commune with elder spirits and deities. If you're ever in Pocatello, Idaho, you should be sure to steer clear of the riverbanks after the sun goes down. The water babies of Massacre Rocks are the ghosts of children slain by their mothers during the infamous famine. It's said that the phantoms of these children can be heard in the dim hours of the morning screaming. The few surviving witnesses have said that the babies have now developed fins, gills, and fangs, and a taste for revenge. Forest Park, Illinois is the home of the 1918 real-life train wreck that killed a troop of circus elephants. It's said that they were so heavy that they had to be buried where they fell from the crash. They supposedly haunt these locations to this day. The Ohio River might not be synonymous with ghosts and gremlins. However, there's a local legend that tells the tale of the green-clawed beast who lives in the river near the Quitman, Indiana Junction. The human-sized creature is covered in hair, green skin, and large claws. It kidnaps women, never to return them again. In 1912, a cold case murder investigation spawned an urban legend that still lingers in the Villisca, Iowa region. The story revolves around a family of parents and four children who were all bludgeoned to death. Ever since this tragedy, the house has been the location of many paranormal sightings. Stoll, Kansas is the home to what is commonly referred to as the gateway to hell. 
It's a rundown old church that has a stairway that many have claimed is the secret gateway to pure fire and brimstone. Kentucky is known for many things, but the thing it's most recognized for on this list is its population of goblins. Hopkinsville, Kentucky has had many sightings of green-skinned, hairless children that have since been commonly referred to as the Kentucky Goblins. Arcadia, Louisiana is home to a pale white wolf creature who walks on two legs. It loves to take children who have been naughty and is commonly referred to as the Rougarou. Maine's most prevalent urban legend is that of Colonel Buck's tomb. After impregnating a woman and forcing her out of his home, Colonel Buck lied to authorities and got the woman who had been raising Buck's son all alone burned at the stake for witchcraft. The son grew up, had his biological father killed, and then cursed his tomb. There's a blood stain on his tomb today, and no matter how many times it's removed, it keeps coming back. The Goatman of Prince George's County, Maryland is a legend that spawns so much attention that the USDA had to officially comment and say they have no knowledge of its existence. Supposedly, the Goatman is a half-human, half-goat creature who disembowels teenagers at Lover's Lane. If there was a competition for the best name of any urban legend on this list, the Puckwudgies would win. From Hockamock Swamp, in these tiny gray tricksters lure people in and trap them in quicksand pits. In a similar vein, the Nain Rouge is a small impish hobgoblin that haunts the areas surrounding Detroit, Michigan. He was seen both in the 1976 ice storm and the 1968 riots. Today, a yearly parade is held throughout Detroit in order to punish the Nain Rouge from city limits. One of the oldest legends in America is the Wendigo. He's a tall, shape-shifting, Bigfoot-esque creature who has been spotted all over the Northwest. It's said that anyone, especially those residents in Minnesota who resort to eating human flesh, will devolve into a Wendigo. Mercritus is an urban legend from Mississippi. It tells the tale of a government cover-up where men started ingesting lead, producing a pheromone, and driving the women in their lives to homicidal madness. It's said that the Mercritus could come back someday. In Wildwood, Missouri, there's a place called Zombie Road where teenagers have been killed for decades. It's said that just by going there, you're tempting fate. A Native American man with black hair and a baggy jacket is said to appear out of nowhere on the highways of Montana and causes cars to crash. He's been dubbed the Phantom Hitchhiker of Black Horse Lake. In Nebraska, rumors of radioactive hornets still abound. It's said that after the Fukushima nuclear disaster, a breed of hornets grew to be four times their normal size. Nevada has a very strange legend associated with it. Yes, Area 51 gets all the love, but in Pyramid Lake, Nevada, it's said that there's a spiteful mermaid who still calls the region home. Hampton, New Hampshire has a very specific witch story associated with the region. Supposedly, Goody Cole was a woman loosely connected to the same local tragedies and was accused of witchcraft not just once, but twice. She was eventually killed by a mob and staked through the heart. It's said that she has returned from the grave to haunt her murderer's descendants. In Passaic County, New Jersey, there's a local ghost story of a boy who lives under the Clinton Road Bridge. The stories don't actually have anything terribly negative to say. He just generally helps people with directions in an eerie manner. Sure, New Mexico has Roswell and all its alien-related paraphernalia, but it also has La Mata Hora. This demon, who appears in the shape of a woman, drives people insane and generally signals either you or someone you love is going to die soon. New York is home to Cropsey, an escaped mental patient who has a hook for a hand and takes children during the cold nights. North Carolina has the vampire beast of Bladenboro. In the 1950s, mutilated livestock, dogs drained of blood, and multiple fatalities were attributed to the vampire beast. North Dakota's Missouri River is heavily associated with the mini Washtaku, a red bison-like water monster. Anyone who sees it while they are alone in the daytime will be driven insane. Ohio is where the Loveland frog hangs out. He's a four-foot-tall human-esque frog that has the ability to shoot sparks out of his hands. Beaver Dunes Park is the Bermuda Triangle of Oklahoma. It's had so many strange and otherworldly sightings that they have a permanent output run by the men in black. The ghost of a logger that was killed in a horrible sawmill accident haunts Cannon Beach, Oregon. Locals often refer to him as the bandaged man. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has the murderous, faceless man known as Charlie No-Face. It's said that he still lurks the grounds near the state penitentiary and civilians who run into him are more likely to turn up dead sooner rather than later. Bucksport, Rhode Island has the local legend of Mercy Brown, 
a woman who died of tuberculosis, but whose body didn't decay. It's said that her shallow coughs can be heard in moonlit nights to this day. Boo hags are a Gullah folktale that centers on evil souls who remain on Earth after death. The southern central coast of South Carolina is plagued by stories of them. A seven-foot-tall force of nature, Walking Sam, hails from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. No one knows his true backstory, but the abnormally tall man is said to dress like a young boy and appears lonely and depressed. Wallen, Tennessee claims the myth of Skinned Tom, a man who was skinned alive by his lover's husband and now walks lover's lane in order to punish dishonest cheaters. The Candy Lady of Terrell, Texas is a demented tale of a ghost who is obsessed with children's teeth. She leaves candy on their windowsills, and then when they draw near, she grabs them and extracts their teeth. Escalante, Utah has a petrified forest. They also have a curse that extends to anyone who takes wood from the state park. In fact, park rangers are said to receive hundreds of packages a year of regretful citizens who did not heed the warnings. Montpelier, Vermont is said to have a bizarre custom of when the winter comes, leaving their elderly outside to freeze and then thawing them out in the summer. In Clifton, Virginia, the locals are very scared of a myth they call the Bunny Man. He's an escaped insane asylum prisoner who survives on dead rabbits during the hunting season and small children during the rest of the year. Cadboro Bay, Washington, has Caddy, a supposedly prehistoric sea creature living in the bay. The white things from West Virginia are massive dog-like creatures about the size of lions. They're covered in white fur and supposedly have taken numerous residents. The Rhinelander Hodag of Rhinelander, Wisconsin, is a spiked lizard creature that is featured on many Paul Bunyan stories. Residents of the area claim to interact with the Hodag regularly still. The Platte River ship in Wyoming is a boat that can only be seen on misty nights in February. Supposedly, if you see it, you'll witness either you or someone you know on the deck swinging from a noose. Your untimely demise will be imminent. So what stories have you heard of? Let us know below in the comments and subscribe to The Graveyard Shift. Check back next time, if you're brave enough, to find out what otherworldly events we'll chronicle next.